Now, Ben, Ben Drysdale, like, here's the story. So I'm sitting in the cafe yesterday <laughs> at Our Town, Broadway and, and Kingsway, and I'm talking to a friend, and I'm just telling her about my radio show, and she's like, I know an Australian guy. You know, he's, he's playing here tomorrow night. I'm like, really? And get me in touch. <laughs> and uh, so I got on the phone here with, with Ben, and it turns out we're from the same city, and we have met at a yeah. festival about a year ago. And uh, Ben, tell me, tell me about yourself. Um, well, yeah, I grew up in Canberra as well. Uh, I was over here at SFU doing the theatre program for a couple of years, and I'm back visiting friends and stuff. Since since doing that program, I've been uh, back in Canberra, uh, developing a small business, putting on music nights, theatre shows, art exhibitions, but mainly mainly focusing on the music. We we run two weekly music nights where we showcase anywhere from three to five bands completely different genres and it's really kind of developed a name for itself and people are calling me from all over the country who want to come and play at my nights in Canberra which yeah. which is a great thing because you know we were discussing off air before you know Canberra doesn't get the best rap and uh, there's a lot there's a lot going on at the moment there's a really there's a really good scene building and uh, and hopefully yeah. we can change that yeah. but that's the sense I got when I, I returned for the Corrin Bank Festival not this past one, but the past previous, and I sense, wow, like, this isn't the city that I left. Yeah, something's going on. Something's Some, in the air. Yeah, yeah, because um, for the listeners, Canberra is it's the government bureaucratic town. It's, it's, it's a completely man-made entity. Yeah. Everything down to its lake, pre-designed for nothing but to be the capital city, and it was plonked in the middle of Sydney and Melbourne because at the time there was a fight. No one could decide where the capital should be, and uh, a lot of people think that Sydney is the capital, North Americans <laughs> generally do, but no, Canberra, it's a city of only a little over 300,000 people, it's, yeah, it's really small. Yeah, it's probably about 350 now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got a real chip on my shoulder, but any time I'm over here and someone asks me where I'm, what, where I'm from in Australia, I, I quiz them on what the capital is, it's always Sydney. Yeah. Although, the girl at the... Uh, the girl at the bar, I was, I was at Falconetti's on commercial watching some live music last night and the waitress asked where I was from and she'd actually lived in Canberra for three weeks <laughs> and worked at the bar that I used to run music nights at. Oh, wow. So she won, but other than that, everybody's always saying Sydney. <laughs> well, we're going to give you a little taste of uh, Canberra music right now. Um, Ben's got his guitar, so uh, yeah. All right. Um, this is probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play a song that I've only just written. I've got I've got like words sitting in front of me. <laughs> it's a few days old, but oh. uh, hopefully hopefully I can pull it off. This will be great. This is Ben Drysdale from Canberra. It's too good to go on too long well, I should have seen This name never be enough for a queen well, I could have lied I could have pretended it would be alright I could say I wasn't for you But you are for me and Now this seems I got another song Cause this thing ain't going on Any longer This ain't wrong And this ain't right oh. This ain't going on Another night
Well, I should know those five years gone too much for you to move on from. Should have seen you never know where to go without knowing where you'd be. Well, you could have lied, you could have said, Well, maybe tomorrow I might. But it's plain to see I am not for you. Applause there from Chris Horrific in the background. That's fantastic. Wow, that's, that's a brand new song, an unreleased track from Canberra artist Ben Drysdale, who is a last minute guest here at the show. We, uh, well, we mentioned the story before. I, I found out that Ben was playing here just through a mutual friend and invited him on the show. And sure enough, he, he made it in. And uh, thanks. Just. <laughs> thank you. Just made it in with the brand new fresh track i literally see the lyric sheet right in front of me hand scrawled um what could you tell us about that track oh um well what do you say basically you know i got dumped <laughs> <laughs> and that's always some good inspiration for a new track yep yeah, yep yeah, yeah and added emphasis when you're on the other side of the world yeah yeah oh well you know these things happen yep yeah, yep yeah. Uh, this, this is Ben Drysdale from Canberra. This is the Australian Canadian Music Show. And a little bit more from Ben uh, after this. Hey, hey, this is Blaine from the Accuse, and you're listening to CITR 101.9 FM in Vancouver. Ah! Well, we are here from the music, Ben, so we, we do have time. Do you want to um, do another track and uh, another song, and then we'll uh, have a bit more of a chat? Uh, yep, sure. Well, I don't know, I'll do, uh, so when I, when I got back from Australia, uh, sorry, when I got back from living here in Canada and got back home, I was staying with a friend down in Melbourne and had like the voc had a vocal line and chords and everything written out for a song that I just had nothing to sing about. Hmm. And I was complaining about this to the friend I was staying with and she was like, oh, it doesn't have to be all deep and meaningful, just write about Charlie. And they had, uh, they had a, a sort of maybe f one foot tall cardboard cut out of like a Dr. Zeus style character ah. living under their tree 
uh, called Charlie. So I wrote this song called Cardboard Charlie, which then, when I got back up to Canberra and started my business running music nights and stuff, decided it would be a good metaphor for a struggling arts-based business. So ah. this is the song where the name of the business came from. Okay, Cardboard Charlie. Cardboard Charlie and I sit under sunny skies On starry nights in the corner of the garden Grass is tall around my feet Pouring rain and searing heat Become my burden Now my spine is but a curve Please don't tell me I deserve This kind of exile my only shelter is this tree But the damn thing has no leaves And you wonder why I never smile You see me every day from your perch on the porch While you're smoking your cigarette And I just got to say I would not have it any other way Cause it's me the world will not forget Will not forget it's me the world will not forget It's me the world will not forget Cause I am Cardboard Charlie I am I am Cardboard Charlie My name is Cardboard Charlie And I sit under clouds of black and rain attacks that ever try to bring me But I stand strong and tall enough These elements are not the stuff That could forsake me well, My name is Cardboard Charlie And I sit alone under this tree Until my burial Cause daddy always used to say The pulp inside me is not grey But colourful material, yeah you see me every day from your perch on the porch While you're smoking your cigarette And I just got to say I would not have it any other way Cause it's me the world will not forget Will not forget It's me the world will not forget It's me the world will not forget Cause I am cardboard Charlie, I am, I am Cardboard Charlie, I am, I am. Yeah, yeah, you see me every day from your perch on the porch. Why? Smoking your cigarette And I just got to say I would not have it any other way Cause it's me the world will not forget Will not forget yeah, 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 yeah. It's me the world will not forget It's me the world will not forget Cause I am cardboard Charlie I said it's me the world not forget Cause I am Cardboard Charlie Massgrave, you're listening to CITR 101.9 FM in Vancouver Live music here in the studio in Vancouver. This is CITR 101.9 FM, Stranded, the Australian-Canadian music show, and a very extra special show today. This is a, a real Canberra connection. Uh, I grew up in Canberra, the Australian Capital Territory, as did Ben. Did you grow up from birth? Or? Yeah, yeah, I grew, yeah, I grew up in Canberra. Oh, but from birth? like oh, from or, birth, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was born in the hospital that they imploded. Word? Oh, of course, yeah. Um, Ben's referring to... Uh, Oh, the, a real debacle. There was the, an, an implosion of an old hospital was promoted as a, a spectator event. 
and it ended up quite disastrously when it exploded somewhat and mm. the young girl was hurt or killed actually um uh yeah canberra has got a long oh geez a history of canberra i mean it's not a very old city but a lot's gone on there you know politically the dismissal of gough whitlam um it's how, how does one describe canberra it's i mean it's known for its natural beauty it's the mm. bush capital and that's the coolest thing about it yeah it's a really nice city to live in um yeah, I mean, growing up, you don't think so. You, nah. As a teenager, you're all like, oh, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go other places. Yeah. I went other places, I went around the world and, you know, lived in lived here for a while and yeah. came back and realised that through adult eyes, or semi-adult eyes, there's there's a lot going on there. And yeah. It's definitely a good, a good sort of building music scene coming out of there we've got a lot of talented musicians in Canberra absolutely and and Ben is really at the centerpiece of this new scene Cardboard Charlie is the name of would you say it's the name of your record label or your promotional yeah it's not really a record label it's um yeah it's more it's it's I've always had trouble defining what I do because I do so I sort of have my finger in a bunch of different pies so yeah I mean in terms of in terms of music promotion I I it's like I'm not a manager. I'm, yeah. I, I'm more just a promoter. I, I uh, <coughs> venues essentially hire me to run music nights at their yeah at their venue. But what um from memory, I'm just trying to think of some of the venues like the the Phoenix and the the Front. And uh, are there any other venues that have? Well, there's Transit up? Bar, yeah. which um I use. I used to run. It's it's sort of one of the only venues that can fit a few hundred people in it. Mm. Like most of the venues are, that, that do really support original live music are no more than a hundred people. Mm. Mm. Um, the Phoenix is no more than a hundred people. The Front, mm. yeah, I yeah. don't even know what the legal capacity of that place is. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. And of course, every year now is a big Corumbang Festival, which totally blew me away. Like It's that's, amazing, isn't it? Like, oh. Yeah. For, for listeners, if you can picture a great outdoor music festival set in the r right amidst Australian bushland um, with you know arts exhibitions and oh it's just phenomenal on a sun on a sun sunny summer's day it's just heaven